I appreciate the scientists involved in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, but I often feel they are holding back their imagination. It seems their worst fear is to falsely cry alien. There could be a giant alien signal right before their eyes, and if it's not a radial signal like the ones we produce here on Earth, they dismiss any possibility of alien involvement. And I think we've discovered such glaring signals. Five that we know of. It's a completely new class of astronomical object, first discovered in 2019. You may not have heard of them. The first and only paper describing these objects only passed peer review in January of 2021. We found them, but scientists are still at a complete loss to explain them. We have been observing the night sky for all of human history, but only in the visible light spectrum. In the last 100 years, we've developed radio telescopes that can view the cosmos at a broader frequency range and peer extremely deep into the night sky. But although we can peer into a small region of space and see incredibly far, we don't have nearly enough radio telescopes to view the whole sky at such a resolution. That's not to say astronomers never survey the whole sky. There are many of these sky surveys, but they only look at a small range of light frequencies and never peer too deep. At least until the Evolutionary Map of the Universe project was launched in 2019 using the brand new Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder. This project will scour the entire sky at 40 times the sensitivity and six times the resolution of previous radial surveys. The EMU project was started by Professor Ray Norris. He expected the detailed survey to reveal strange new things. The resolution would allow machine learning to parse through the enormity of the data, potentially finding new, never before observed objects and phenomena. He expected these results years after the data came in and the full-scale survey doesn't even start until later this year. But they did a shallow pilot scan in 2019. Norris was in the audience when Anna Kapinska presented the results of this first pass. One slide contained an image simply labeled WTF. The object in question was found in a region of space previously thought to be barren and uninteresting. It is invisible to all types of light except the specific range of radio light. Never before seen, until now. Kapinska, Norris, and the rest of the team were at a complete loss to describe it. And they still are. They've extensively ruled out equipment malfunction, and no natural explanation makes sense. Since the first discovery, four other similar objects have been found in the EMU pilot survey. Astronomical objects don't naturally emit only radio waves. The light emission of astronomical objects is based on their temperature and black body radiation curve. Natural objects give off light in steady and predictable curves. But that's not what these objects do. To the continued astonishment of the EMU team, these objects only emit radio waves. They name them odd radio circles. This strange electromagnetic signature and circle appearance are the only things researchers know about these objects. They don't even have a good frame of reference in order to accurately give a size or distance from us. Many do note that circular and ring-like objects are not rare in space. Space explosions tend to propel matter into these structures. But what kind of explosion could cause these odd radio circles? I believe the answer can be found by looking back here on Earth. Here, humans have created a kind of unnatural explosion that encodes information. The intricate, unnatural patterns created upon explosion mesmerize audiences with the engineering marvels at play. I'm talking, of course, about fireworks. An advanced alien species bent on announcing its presence and capabilities to the universe might engineer such displays at a cosmic level. Instead of creating cosmic radio stations and blasting out encoded information as most of SETI expects, 
Aliens may instead literally paint us a picture in the sky, engineering a massive explosion in space, designed to propel matter into exactly the intended position, just like we do with Earth fireworks. One could imagine an advanced controlled explosion that propels atoms into configurations where they might act as an ever-expanding fractal antenna, forever broadcasting the desired shape with a steady, specific signal emitted throughout the structure, clearly identifying it as an intelligently made billboard. Such alien signals may even convey information. I can't help but compare these objects to the alien language from the 2016 film Arrival. Language played a huge role in that film, with the alien language taking a circular shape, strangely similar to these odd radio circles. Like the fictional circular symbols, there may be information encoded within the seemingly random variations in the circle structure. It may not be possible to infer the meaning with just five known symbols, but as the EMU project continues to scan the sky, it's expected that more of these circles will be found. Perhaps many more. Some of these circles do have astronomical objects seemingly in the center, which could hint at deciphering clues. But the magic bullet here would really be finding two identical circles in different parts of the sky. A discovery like that would prove that these are ET signals and begin the race towards unlocking their meaning. Communicating via space fireworks would also solve one of the major issues with our current approach to SETI, interference from Earth-bound signals. This turned out to be the cause of BLC-1, a signal that I previously hyped up here. Information encoded within odd radio circles would not have such issues. I may be wrong here. Science may come up with a satisfactory prosaic explanation for these objects, in which case I'll gladly accept it. The very fact that we're finding completely new phenomena in space is extremely exciting. It might surprise you that there's a whole catalog of other completely unexplained astronomical objects and phenomena. Anton Petrov does a great rundown of some of the fun ones here. If my interpretation of the Drake equation and the Fermi paradox are correct, the real question to be asked is, why have we not seen evidence of alien life in the sky? After learning about odd radial circles and other unexplained phenomena, I think the answer is likely, we have. Science might just be completely ignoring it. Do you agree? Please let me know by giving a thumbs up or a thumbs down and leaving a note in the comments below. I eagerly await more news about odd radio circles and other un and under known stories. And I'll be bringing my takes here, so be sure to subscribe if you found this interesting. And of course, thanks for watching Rather Be Squiddy.